Hello everybody and welcome back to Bake Mass. Wait, is this the first recipe back from Great British Bake Off? <gasps> we are coming off the Great British Bake Off week. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty fucking relieved. There was a lot of stress. And now we are to the recipes that I, for the most part, know how to make. Tomorrow is churros, so never made those before, so we'll see. But today, we're making sugar cookies. This is the recipe that I make pretty much every year, only for Christmas. I mean, you could do this like Easter. I don't really understand Easter because I hang out with mostly Jewish people. Let's get started. In the bowl of my stand mixer, I have two sticks of butter. The full recipe will be listed down below on my blog. Um, and this butter is softened. Mine's a little too soft. But like room temp soft because we're gonna cream it together with our sugar, which is sugar. Ugh, sorry. So spinachy. And now we're just gonna cream this together until it gets light and fluffy and pretty much doubles in size. <laughs> Scrape down the sides. Oh. Gonna scrape down one last time and one last whip, and we will put in the other shit. I love that. Is that how it's written in the recipe? Yep. So now that this is all creamed together, I'm going to add in the egg and uh, continue to whip. Scrape down. It's really what this cookie recipe is. It's just putting things in here and then scraping me down. Man, I'm so burpy. <coughs> now goes in the vanilla and almond extract. The almond just gives it a little bit of an extra something something, but if you're allergic to nuts, don't do the almond extract. I'm also just partial to marzipan, so maybe that's why. Do partial like to marzipan, like what? Now that that's mixed, ooh, I'm going to add in my leavener and my salt into my flour. Gonna grab a whisk. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Whisk this in just so it's like evenly incorporated because once you start adding dry ingredients to your wet, you don't want to overmix it because that will develop the gluten, the thing I am allergic to. It'll just get tough like bread. So you don't want to overmix anything. I'm gonna add in my flour for that reason in just like a little bit at a time, just so it fully incorporates without over mixing. <laughs> Before, but these are no spread sugar cookies so they hopefully won't spread and I'll show you like my tips and tricks we're here to make sugar cookies and shapes of things and have them look good and not like bloated stars and bloated stockings that just look like thumbs I mean I guess like a regular stocking really kind of looks like dude I don't fucking know <laughs> So you know what's fucking insane? For how much goddamn time sugar cookies take, they are nobody's favorite cookie. Come on, Cameron, come on. You know, get friendly with it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. But this is like a good consistency. It's in one mass, but it's not sticky. Okay, uh, this is my trick corner. It's where I actually give your mom tips on uh, sugar cookies, remember? Last year at Christmas, you asked yeah. me? You were like, we'll include the screenshots of my mom asking the question, me sending that screenshot, and you having all these suggestions. I loved it. So I split my dough in half. I just have one half here. On a cookie sheet prepared with a Silpat. This is just like a silicone baking sheet. If you're into cookie baking, they're so cheap. They're on Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're just great, and I'm a huge fan. I'm going to place it right here in the middle, and you don't need to grease these, which is also what I love about them. And now here is my trick. I like using parchment paper. You could roll it just between two sheets of parchment paper, but I'm gonna get the sill pat in here, and we're just gonna roll it out on here. And we just wanna get it to be like a fourth of an inch thick. Just gonna make sure it's all kind of one flat length. 
Now, from here, put this straight into your fridge or your freezer. Put it away because you need the butter to completely cool before you cut them out and then put them into the oven because cold butter is the key to cookies that don't spread. For my cookie cutters today, keeping it like in between non-denominational and being denominational. These ones have been in the fridge, so they're cold as hell. So you need some, some woman power to really get them. I like to really Tetris it, see where things are going to fit to get the most bang for my buck without, you know, ruining it. Oh, that was the wrong side. Ow. <laughs> If your cookie cutters start stick a licking, gross, I don't like that I said that. You can dip them in a little bit of flour. Be gentle with the corners and just keep uh, keep on keeping on. Usually I don't mind the fact that I have giant fingers, but right now it's really, it's really getting in the way. Like my thumb doesn't fit. Fan freaking tastic. Gonna peel apart where they're not at. This is the part where I just become like crazy. <laughs> Meticulous is the word. Mm. Yes, that is the nicer word. Hey man, Rudolph. Actually, I feel like not Rudolph because he's already the most popular one. Yeah, I like Vixen. It's a good name. And Dasher, Prancer, Donner and Blitzen, Comet, Cupid. Because there's Dasher. There's 12? 14. <laughs> How many? Because there's Dasher and Dancer and Donner and Blitzen, Comet and Cupid and something and. I feel like maybe that was the wrong order. I don't know. Mmm. Dasher and... Who fucking knows? Now, you know, just separate your cookies from your scraps. Don't fuck up and accidentally put your snowman not with them. So just fucking hyperspeed this shit and I'll do the rest. These are going back into the fridge to cool again before we put them in the oven. Lots of cooling involved. Now it's time for our royal icing. It uses egg whites. So if you're nervous about that, if you have kids, if you're feeding these to people who like, not that I don't, I mean, I care about you dying, but like she can make her own decisions. Pasteurized egg whites, that's all that matters, but you can also use meringue powder if you're nervous. So we've got powdered sugar, egg whites, and then half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, 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 tartar. And then we have a little bit of vanilla and a tiny little bit of almond extract. Again, if you don't like that, you don't have to add that. A pinch of salt, mix it up. So once it's all mixed, you can see it's a very liquidy consistency. Okay, now I have to figure out the color combos to do. <laughs> the cookies baked in a 350 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes and halfway through I rotated the pan just because ovens have hot spots and you don't want any which way to get too brown. And as you can see, they got like a little bit of like color and they're definitely done, but they didn't get golden brown because we don't want crunchy cookies. Maybe you want crunchy cookies and then I'm just judging you, just letting you know. All of my royal icing has now been put into various little bottles and now we get on to the decorating part. Let's do the snowman. <laughs> teaching people how to ice a cookie like they don't know how to goddamn ice a fucking cookie. Also, if you ever get discouraged at any point, everyone, remember, these are nobody's favorite cookies. <laughs> and you can slave over them for the sake of an Instagram picture and to feel festive, but it's really not that worth it. But please keep watching the whole video. <laughs> sweat going between my boobs right now. Very festive. <laughs>
Okay guys, that is it. I finished decorating the cookies. Now they just need to sit and wait for a while. There's no taste test. Y'all know what a fucking sugar cookie tastes like. If not, Aislinn Paul describing it to you really won't make that big of a difference. So if you guys want the recipe for this, I will have it listed on my blog down below. I hope you guys are enjoying Bakemas. Get excited. We have so many more recipes. That was me saying so many more recipes. The words didn't totally make sense. So uh, follow me on social media if you want to see the pictures and all that stuff. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Know, my words aren't working. I don't remember if I took my Adderall, so tell me if I start like not making sense. I like was like, I think I took it, but then I didn't remember. Also the other day I found one on the ground, which means someday recently I didn't take it either.